Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. God, we get praise and glory. And I'm going to take you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Say so once again, I love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We will pass by Israel. We told Israel to live. Ye has to live. When I passed by Israel and I saw Israel polluted in the blood, I said, Live. Ye has to live. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For moving up, for even those that I did not call by name. Thank you, Lord, for this mercy spirit. Uh, today, Lord, that it will go around the globe, Lord. People here, Lord, they got loved ones, Lord, they need you right now, Lord. Touch them as well. Father, we, wanna, we don't want to leave no one out, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I believe this is the time, Lord, that you've been to do things. You've been to shake up heaven and earth. You've been to shake it up, Lord. You're going to shake it up, Lord. You're going to shake it up. You're going to shake up heaven and you're going to shake up earth. Oh God, yes, you are. This is the time for this, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We want to give praise to God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your closure and your wisdom. This is the pastor. I'm going to go to the Bible. I'm going to go to the Bible. I'm going to go to the Bible. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to go to the Bible. I'm going to go to the
to be a part of the word of work. I come to be a part of them. Thank you, Jesus. That's why the scriptures are mine and me and the words are mine. Then you and your relax. Maybe then what you will. But thank God for your servant. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate the love of God. The new world. The addition added to, to us. Just to hold it. The world.
put me in the world, but they were in. But that's what I did, you know. And John was a book that, that I really love. You know. Thank you, Jesus. Love. Uh, the chapters of John, I can just show you here already. They were because I read them so long ago. You know, you know such a different dimension. You can get it in there. In the head, you can remember. And then thank you, Jesus. I really love that. There's more to remember the scriptures and some depths and heights in the word of God that you need to go to. So now, in the God, taking the deeper into the world, you know, we read it, but then a lot of times we don't understand it. We got Bible scholars in the name of the read the Bible, they think they understand the word. I mean, they can break it down and the best thing, well, they know how to break it down, but how many know, I mean, reading the Bible, I mean, a lot of things that you're not going to get out of a book, I mean, out of a, uh, out of a, uh, out of a, uh, you know, uh, you know, you got these things, you can look up things, but God can reveal to you things that, I mean, look like that we thought it was the definition to it, but God had another definition to it. When God didn't go with the word, it didn't tell me this crazy to me. Just when God only multiplied the way we multiply. And when the way God multiply, and when it is not even the way we multiply, we multiply, we stick with it. But God go crazy with it. Don't it? One point thousand, two to put ten thousand, you know, you know. And all that stuff, but he 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 go multiply man and shoot. Yeah. Uh, Three plus three end up being one. And God's eyes are looking up. God, God's strange God, man. I'm telling you, he is. He's strange, man. Yeah. But I know, this one I'm reading here, the 17th chapter of the book of St. John. I love y'all today. That's if you may understand. Then, this word, respect Jesus, and look up his eyes to the heavens, said, and said, Father, thou hast come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou have given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they that they might know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. I glorify thee on the earth. And I finish the works which thou hast given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the man which thou hast given me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou givest them me, and they have kept my word. That's what we got to do. Now, they have no, have known that all things whatsoever thou had given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou hast given me, and they have received them, and have known them. Surely, that I have, that I came from, came out from thee, and they have delivered should be believe that thou didn't send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are, are, are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I Come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them that God of mine. This was but the supplication that the Scripture uh, may be fulfilled, and now come I to thee, and these things I speak, I speak unto the 
unto the world in the world that they may have my job fulfilled in themselves. I have given them the world and the world had hated them because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou should take them out of the world but that thou should keep them from the evil. They are not of the world even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. That thy word is true. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake, I sanctified myself, that, that they also may be sanctified, uh, may be sanctified through the truth. Never pray for, for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But for them also who shall believe on me through their word. Church, get busy. Get busy. My sheep know the voice. That's why I can hear my hand. And a stranger, they will not follow. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Verse 21. That they all may be one. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in mm. us. That the world may believe mm. that thou hast sent me. Thou hast sent me. And the glory. And the glory. Which thou gavest me, which thou gave it me, I have given them. I have given them that they may be one. That they may be one, even as we are. Even one. as we are one. I and them. I and them. And thou in me. And thou in me. That they may be made. That they may be made perfect in one. In one. And that the world may know. That the world may know that thou hast sent me. That thou hast sent me. And has loved them. And have loved them as thou hast loved me. And loved them as thou hast loved me. Father. Father. I will, I will that they also, that they also whom, thou hast given me, whom thou hast given me be with me, be with me where, I am, where I am that they may behold my, that glory, they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, which thou hast given me for thou lovest me, for thou lovest me before, the foundation, before the, the foundation of the world O righteous Father, o righteous Father the, world have not known thee, the world have not known thee but I have known thee, but I have known thee and these have known, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared and unto, them them thy name, unto them thy name. And we'll declare it. And we'll declare that the love, that the love where thou hast loved, love loved me may be in them. May be in them and, I and I in them. Father, we thank you for that word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Matthew 16, 13. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 16, 13. When Jesus came mm. into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Amen. He asked the disciples, I was saying, whom do men say, whom do men say that, I, that I, the Son of Man, am? The Son of Man, am. And they said, they said, some say, some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some say that thou art Some say that thou art Elias. And others, and others, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah the one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art 
Christ. Of the Christ. Yes. The Son. The Son. Of the living God. Of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him. Mm. Blessed art thou. Blessed art thou. Son of Bajona. For flesh and blood. Have not revealed this unto thee. But my Father. But my Father. Which is in heaven. And I say all, and I say all also unto thee. That thou, Peter, that thou Peter, and upon this rock, and upon this rock I, will build my church, I will build my church, and the gates of hell, and the gates of hell shall not, shall not prevail, against prevail against it. And I will give unto, thee, will give unto thee the keys, the keys of, the of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever, and whatsoever thou shalt bind thou on earth, earth shall be bound in heaven. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He said, but thou Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. Yeah. And he said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The rock was not Peter. The rock was God. The rock was Jesus. And when he said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. Upon the word of God, I'll build my church. Upon me, I'll build my church. And he said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Talk to me, somebody. Huh? That's what he said. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I will give unto thee. I will give unto thee. The keys. Now I'm giving you the keys. Of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever. Whatsoever. Thou shalt bind on earth. He gave us power, man. Yes, Do not play around with what God has given you. Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. Just don't make it sound good and feel good. But make sure, children of God, what He gave you, amen, that you would know how to use it. Come on, somebody. We all have been fought. We've been attacked in a lot of different ways. But because we had the keys, talk to me, somebody. We were able to open that door. We got a little mercy out. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Come on. We got a little mercy out. Because we had the keys to open that door. God had mercy on us. Come on, somebody. Amen. amen. He gave us the keys to the God that, amen, that what if we find here on earth? Amen. He gave us the power and authority to speak his word. Are y'all with me? Talk to me, somebody. And say to Moses, so he's doing everything in his power to stop you and I, amen, from getting to what we're supposed to get to. From the God, we got to understand we carry something. Right? The key that we have is not in our hands. Amen. The key that we have, amen, is in our head, is in our mind, is in our mouth. The Bible said, amen, out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. When out of the heart, amen, proceed good thoughts. Talk to me, somebody. So, amen, we have the keys. And children of God, we got to understand that God himself has given us the keys to heaven. He gave us the keys to the kingdom. And I don't know about y'all, there's a lot of stuff in the kingdom. There's a lot of stuff, amen, hooked up in God. Amen, people, amen, have yet, amen, to, to tap into. Children of God, the doors have come over to us a long, long time ago. He said, I stand at your door and I knock. He said, any man open unto me, I'll come in. I'll bring my kingdom. I'll bring myself. I'll bring the throne of heaven. Straight, I'll give it to you. Come on, every Thing you need, children of God, if you have the Holy Ghost, amen, it's already on the inside of you. It's what you got to understand that the Bible declares that greater is He that's in us than He that's in the world. Come on, somebody. I don't care how you be found, you got to understand that you got something on the inside of you greater than anything that will come up against you. Come on, somebody. I know that we've been hit, we've been hooked down, beat down, pulled down, broke down, but I promise you today, amen, our eyes and our ears is coming open to the Word of God. He said, Peter, upon this I'll be in my church. And he said, in the gates of hell. I don't know about y'all, but share with the bubbles. And he said, the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Come on, somebody. Oh, you bring what you want to bring. You can do what you want to do. Amen. I understand that, amen, the gates of hell should not prevail against it. So the God, you got to know, amen, you got to know for a surety that what God put in you was enough. Amen. You don't have to look, amen, for nothing else. Somebody said, well, I got Jesus. That's all I got. Oh, yeah. Well, you might have Jesus, and that's all you got. But I, I, I got Jesus, and that's all I need. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And when you say, I 
and that's all I got you look at it maybe we do with something and you go at it but I'm going to tell you something I got Jesus and that's enough I got Jesus and I don't need nothing else come on something for the power to declare that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world tell him that the greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world you got to understand that you got the greater living on the inside of you need it no weapon from the distance you're proper and every tongue that rise from the distance and just he give you power to Devil trying to shake God people down, but he's alive. He's the father of liars. I stopped by to tell you today. Amen. Children of God, amen. He won't be able to do what he's trying to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God come to give us joy. And you better get your joy. He come to give joy. Not only did he come to give us joy, but he come to give us peace along with joy. Come on, somebody. You ain't got no joy. You ain't got no peace. Come on, somebody. But he said, My joy, I leave with you. Come on, he said, I glorify me with the same glory that I had with you at the beginning. He said, I glorified you one time, and now I'm going to do it again. Talk to me, somebody. Me today, my God said, if you need some more glory, I'll give you some more glory. If you feel like you're lost what you got, I can give it back to you. Oh, he that cometh to God, all you got to do is pray, believe that God is, and that God is your reward of them that do it seek you. One man said, Lord, show us the Father. You've been talking about it for a long time. He said, please, he said, son, have I been so long time with you, and yet you don't know me? He said, when you see me, you say, see the Father. I'll say about then, show the Father. What I'm saying to you, and the children of God, you're supposed to present the Father unto the people. Come on, somebody. He said, Lord, I gave them all you gave me, I gave it to them. Children of God, now we're supposed to give it to the world. We have been reconciled to God. Now God, we gave us the power of reconciliation that we must go and reconcile others. We don't understand what you got. It's what you say, the power it lies within you. Come on, somebody. I stood in the street this morning, please. This morning I just stood there flat for the new road this morning. And I began to pull God, to pull out God's word. A young man pulled up on me and said, my God, it's so good to see us. It's good to see you too. I said, look, we got the blood still running through our veins. We're still alive. Come on, somebody. I said, you were one of the meanest little guys that would come through the city. I said, I was too. I said, but look what God done did. He's still allowing us to be here. I said, my God, there's a wonderful thing I hit out on you for the way that you did a long time ago. I said, but listen, let me tell you something. I said, God is still here. Then I went back and begin to tell him about 40 years ago how God changed my life and truth to God I'm telling you hey man, I got changed some 40 years ago and I want you to understand I'm still yes standing hey man, so I'm not broke down I'm not toe down come on somebody I'm not blind come on somebody I, I don't have sickness or diseases in my body and you God heal me from everything and I'm saying it for a reason I'm trying to let you know truth to God God gave me the keys a long long time ago and truth to God I want you to know I walked into a place with God and every time a devil come he see where I'm at come so I'm talking about getting a little but how do you know I slap right back in that place? See, when you're in God, you ain't got nothing wrong. When you know God, even you can call on it at any time. Come on, somebody. When you got in trouble, you call for your mama. You call for your mama. Yeah. 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 So mama go take care of that deposit. And when the bar done call on his mama, well, bless God if you call on Jesus. I mean, are you listening to me, children of God? Somebody what do I do when they keep on doing the trouble? Hey, we just keep on doing what you're doing down here. Keep on doing when you get up there. I don't care what they do or what they say. You got to understand that, amen, it's your God. Somebody said to me, your thing, hey, when I don't slap me on both my cheek, what shall I do then? I said, to you, just stand there like God told you to stand. I said, then it's out of your hand. You don't gave them what you can give them. Now God don't give them what he don't give them. Somebody say, man, don't you act up because it looks like God ain't moving. I mean, God moving upon the cover. God moving when you can't see. You can't see God moving. Hey, but you're about God is invisible. That don't mean he ain't moving. She said, what do I do? I turned and gave up both my cheeks. I said, what you need to do, just stand there. And you'll see the move of God. But if you got an attitude, I said, you won't see it right there because God, you know, it's a game too slap jump for nothing. Hey, but if you get rid of your attitude, if you get rid of that spirit, hey, but sure to God, then God himself, I step right in and he'll show up. You won't be able to see him, but you'll know that he now. When you see God begin to turn him flipped, they can't hardly get up no more. They got to call you on the phone and say, forgive me of my sin. 
Come on, somebody, you know God dealing with a demon. What I'm saying to you, children of God, hallelujah, ain't nothing to the morality. Too hot for God, we make it seem like, amen, God that went off on a journey somewhere. Children of God, that's what he lied. He said, amen, to bear. Call on him a little louder. Our God ain't going nowhere. Our God is right here. Somebody say, amen, call him a little louder. Maybe he's going on a journey. Maybe, amen, hallelujah. He's in a meeting somewhere. Maybe, hallelujah, he might be at a dinner somewhere. Talk to me, someone call him a little louder. And the Bible said they begin to cut themselves because they knew bells on the shoulder, the bell is short. That day, talk to me, somebody. Turn about anything you believe in, it'll work for you after you believe in it. Talk to me, so that don't mean that it's real. Talk to me, they served out of God. I mean, it made statues and made them to be God. And people believe in those things. It looked like those things worked for them. But turn to God. Hallelujah. When the real God show up, when Jesus himself stepped on the scene, every other demon had to back down. Come on, somebody. That's why Jesus said, if thou be the son of God, he should turn these stones in the bed. Hey, Amen. I won't be you here. And Jesus said, man, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God. That was enough to put him on the, upon the, the top of the church. So God, give his angel, you can jump off of here. God give his angels, you jump and your angels don't catch you. Let's shout if you didn't, if the angels ain't you ain't who you say you are, then you dash your feet against a stone. But if you who you say you are, the angels gonna catch you. Come on, he give the angels charge over thee. And let's not dash our feet against a stone. If you, if you ain't who you say you are, you gonna bust your behind, you gonna break your, you gonna dash against a stone, and the stone gonna break you down. And when Jesus said, I want you to understand, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. Then the Bible said he took him up on a high mountain and showed him all the tales of the world, show them all of the good things, the beautiful things. He said, you bow down and worship me. He said, I give you all of this. But Jesus said, let me tell you something, man. Hallelujah. And he put a word on that devil again. And when he got to put the word on the devil again, the Bible said, the devil left him right there. Didn't care nowhere else. The Bible said, he left him for a season. Come on, somebody, left him right there. And I want you to know something to the God. He said, I'm leaving you here. You got to get down by yourself. But how many know he was God anyway? He came down on his own. But the Bible said, when the angels came and stricken him, but I want you to understand that, hallelujah, and we got called himself, somebody's he's the joy of my salvation come on somebody, he's the power of his own glory, somebody said he's the anointed, amen, and he'll give it to us Make yokes in you. Destroy yokes and stop by the key. Amen. Hallelujah. You got the keys. What you gonna do with them? What you gonna do with the keys? You got the keys. If you let mother have them keys, young lady, if you let mother have them keys and you don't bring them to church, if you don't keep them keys out of her way, she gonna get in that car and drive to church on her own. So y'all better pull up and do something. But if you get if she ever get them keys in her hand, she gonna take off in it. Come on, somebody. So y'all need to be aiming down. But y'all can take her where she need to go. Because if I tell you something, you get keys in your hand, you can do things with keys. You can open doors. If you need to come in, you got the keys, you can come in. If you ain't got the keys, you got the break in. Talk to me, somebody. Well, I want you to understand. Hey, amen. I got to call it on God a few months ago. And I got to call on real hard. And look like, hey, amen, the heaven was shut up to me. I said, Lord, if you don't open these doors, I said, I'm going to knock where I'm going to do. I'm going to take the hinges off of heaven. Somebody say, I need you now. Come on, somebody. I got to plan around that. Hey, amen. Turn to God, look like the hinges. Begin to come off of heaven, and all of a sudden I found that I still had the key. He said, I let you in, son. Come on, you ain't got to tear the hinges off. Come on, you turn to God. Your words are carrying power. You put keys in the wrong person's hand. They'll tear off your bags. Come on, somebody, there, get your car, go out there and wreck it. And you put the keys in the wrong somebody's hand. Truly, God, you come back, and when they come back, you ain't got nothing left. You put the keys in the wrong person's hand. Hey, Amen. They're going to your safe deposit box and get everything you got in there out. Come on, because you gave the keys to the wrong person. Hey, Amen. You see, you got to be careful who you get the keys to. Jesus Christ you just didn't just give the keys to no anybody. Talk to me, somebody. The world don't have the keys. I don't care what denomination they are. Come, somebody say, man. They don't have the keys. Turn to God, they Holy Ghost. Feel five baptized, they don't have the keys. Hey, when the keys is only given to the one that have the Holy Ghost. The Bible said in Acts 1 and 8, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost come unto you. Come on, somebody. And then you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in the Judea and Samaria and to the other most part of the world. I gave them the keys. Hey, Amen. They have the keys, but look what they're doing with the keys. They're just keeping the keys. Hey, Amen. To 
for themselves. I'm going to tell you something, children of God. I refuse to keep the key to myself. I'm opening the door and for the whore to come in. I'm opening the door for the crackhead to come in. I'm opening the door for the drive by shoe to come in. Somebody say, man, I'm opening the door. Now, come on. He said, my sheep know my voice. And the stranger they won't follow. When the drive by man hear the word, when he hear, when he hear the word, he going to drop the gun. When he hear the word, he going to drop the pipe. When he hear the word, come on, somebody. We have the key, the key. It's the word of God. They're not, not the key, they the word. Somebody say, man, hey, but you're the God, I'm going to tell you something. If you can just drop back in the spirit with me for a second. The Bible said in St. John, run in the beginning. What's the word? See, the word is the key. When you get the word, people got the word, but they don't have it. See, it's, it, 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 it's the spirit and the word. Amen. I mean, the spirit and the word, when they're together, they unlock things. Talk to me, somebody. You can have the word. The word is the letter. The letter kill it. But when you get the spirit in you and make the word of God come alive, you can prophesy, speak all day long Until you get the spirit to make this thing come alive It ain't gonna profit you nothing But I stop by just for a few minutes Or I roll to tell you It's gonna be alright Somebody say, man, I roll to tell you today And let you know how to do it I don't care how you be hit And you're gonna come through it anyway For great is he that's in you That he is in the world Or well, I stop by to tell you something, Doug All is well But I want you next Sunday I want you next Wednesday And next Friday I want you on the altar I promise you, thank God in heaven, when you bring it to the altar, when you get up from the altar, all that stuff that's been attached to it, come on somebody, it's got to leave you at the altar. Somebody say, man, I want you to understand, we need to get back to praying like we never prayed before. We need to get back to calling on God like we never called on God before. Call in the Holy Come on. While you're doing your studying, do your prayer. Don't just study to learn. And when they're proud, it opened up things. And the children of God when Jesus was praying in the garden of the city. And when he was there by himself, even though he had John Peter and James there with him, the Bible said they went to sleep every time he got down to pray. And he came back and said, Could not you pray with me one hour? Proud open that door. Proud get the door open for you. And when you walk on the other side of where you've been praying about, truly got all that other stuff that's been attached to you, can't go where you going. I want you to know how to do that. And when Jesus went on to the other side, when he pressed his way, the Bible said he prayed so long and he cried out so long to his sweat became a drop of blood. Somebody say, man, but when he got done, and when he went over to the other side, when he passed over, all that mess that was attached to him, all of the sin of the world that was attached to him, all of the pain and agony that was attached to him, when he went to the other side, to the God, they couldn't come with him. So when he came back over, somebody said, when he walked back out, he told his disciples, y'all sleep on now. Take your rest. I don't know. So the God, we don't get that one way or the other. And the devil knows you. Come on, somebody. Oh, my father said, what great is he that's in you and he is in the world. The power of life and death and God. But then you tell you sit around. Wait on them to tell you what you can do. You kind of wait on them to tell you how good you are. Devil's alive. Amen. God tell me what I am. Amen. God put me in the places that I go. Somebody say that. I rely for great as he that's in me. That's nothing to do with me. Leave it for people. God take your life. Thank you. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, and when God said, My greatest, He that's in you, He was in the world. I want you to understand, man, hallelujah. We tried it your way, ain't none of that work for you. And when church of God, even you was facing doors, you was facing prison doors. But look at you now. And when God then put you on the other side of that, and He's fixing that up for you. Come on, somebody. That don't mean you ain't a prisoner. You are still a prisoner. But I mean, you and you, 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 you don't lock up, you don't lock down by God. See, now you're the prisoner of the Lord. That's what Paul said. Hey, man, I'm a prisoner of the Lord. Hey, man, how do you not receive thee? So if we don't go, amen, then in this day and time, amen, it's being a prisoner of the Lord. So I don't care about what man said about me. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Hey, amen, you can't tell me who I am. I know who I am. Somebody, you can't tell me what I can and what I can't do. I know what I can do for greater. 
It's you that set me to free. They said, well, you're not going to stay in the power. Yeah. Oh, I'm Oh, well, I am. Well, I guess you are. Well, I wasn't meant to be. But I am. And call to me. I am. I am. That I am. That I am. Come on, somebody. I am that I am. That's what Jesus said. He said, I am. I am whatever you need me to be. Talk to me, somebody. I am, I am, I am. Come on, somebody. Whatever you need me to be, I am that. Talk to me, somebody. If you need me to be able to comfort, I'll be that. If you need me to be a healer, I'll be that. If you need me to be a deliverer, I'll be that. If you need me to fix some things out in your home, I'll do that. Whatever you need me to do, I, I am that. Come on, somebody. I am that I am. Somebody say, me for greater. It's he that's in me than he that's in the world. But I am that I am. Who lives in me? Talk to me, somebody. Well, when I open my mouth, I just let I am speak. And then, guess what? And it ain't me no more. And so, God, I want you to know, hallelujah, this word will not leave out of my mouth and return that back unto me or him for all, but it's going to accomplish what he's sending out to do. Somebody say that. We've been speaking the word, but it ain't been him speaking it. But I'm telling you one thing right now. We've been to speak by the Holy Ghost. We ain't going to take no thought what we're going to say of what we're going to do. But in that moment and in that hour, God's going to give it to you. Come on, somebody. You see Peter without Peter. And upon this rock, they've been preaching Peter with the rock. Peter ain't no rock. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. Peter was just a stone. Yeah, man. Attached to the rock. Thank you, Lord. God, Jesus. Don't give me somebody. Amen. Is that right? Amen. The Bible says when Jesus came in Luke. The Bible says when he came into the city. The Bible says he was spread clothes and palm trees and leaves and before me riding on his a donkey, dragging his foot, you can eat. He had to almost walk with the donkey, have the donkey, donkey along to get him where he was going. Because they had to even ride on the soul of an ass, talking to somebody that slide on into Jerusalem. They looked at the kings and the prophets and the priests and the Levites. They all were sitting there waiting on the Messiah to come. They knew he was coming. Amen. Because him in the story had foretold that he was coming. But when they saw him, man, they looked at him, they said, We don't want this. Come on, a king where a king controls. A king, amen. Oh, amen. And he's royalty. And he have things that are royalty. Come on, somebody. With this man coming up in here, riding on the soul of one of the lowest things you can find. Come on, somebody. God don't care how low it is. Amen. Tell me, God didn't make him be not who he was. Amen. He come on into Jerusalem. And the Bible said, it's the sun beginning to praise him and worship him. And they would just cry out, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. And amen. You can just imagine the priest and the Levites and the prophet. But amen. Hey, hey, hey. Rebuke our disciples. They are an order. Jesus, I tell you, stood up on the meeting. So I tell the bees what to hold their feet. He said the stones and the rocks would immediately cry. Come on, somebody. I want you to understand that he turned around back to them. He looked around in his disciples. Say, amen. The bees were to hold their peace. He said the stones and the rock would cry. Then he looked back at the prophets and the priests and the Levites. He said, if you only knew in this dying day, this is your day. Hi, I'm coming to you. He said, if you only knew in this dying day, the things would belong to your place and your peace. He said, but now they're hid from your eyes. And I said, many should come from the east. And many shall come from the rest. They said, they sit down with Abraham. I can drink them in the kingdom. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out. And you're out of darkness. What else you be weeping in national the teeth? But do y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. They was down. The bills was down. The ones who the bill, Amen, was down. But the Bible said they took the stone that came from heaven. Amen. This stone that came from heaven. This stone that was shipped all the way from glory. The stone that the bills rejected. The same became the head of the coda. They rejected the coda. They rejected Jesus. Jesus Christ himself, and they sent him a note of the builders. They said, we won't build upon this, we're going to build upon, amen, Moses. Somebody say, amen, but Moses told him, said, I'm not the man, but he's coming on later. Hallelujah. I want you to know I'm just a pointer. I'm letting you know he's coming. You won't hear me, but you got to hear him. Well, turn to God, I want you to know he told, he died and rose again, but still they got to hear him. How they going to hear him? How can you hear without a preacher? I said, a preacher, preacher, sir, the preacher been I stopped by just for a few minutes. But a wake up was in you. It's on the inside of you. Come on, somebody. Maybe you ought to get up and give God a praise right now. Maybe the devil tried to kill you. He tried to kill your wife. He tried to kill your husband. He tried to kill you. He been trying to kill you, Trippy. Amen. How you ought to go and praise God anyway. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong. Come on.
come on somebody. I said there's nothing wrong with praising God. There ain't nothing wrong with praising God. You got to praise God. You got to praise God. There's nothing wrong with praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. You ought to give God that praise right now. Somebody say man. You ought to give God that praise. The devil's a lie. You got a right to praise him. Your wife is still here. Your husband is still here. Your children is still here. Somebody say man. I said they're still here. Hallelujah. But the Bible declare for greater. You ought to praise God. Come on, yes, you lost some things. But I want you to know you ain't lost what you thought you lost. Come on, somebody. They sit back magnifying God right now. They sit back and say, I told you, this wasn't gonna happen. I told you. Yes, they were a little slack, but they're getting the praise back on. Maybe they're getting the worship back on. These are people that know God. Somebody know God. Somebody say, man, these are people. They praise you, know how to praise you. Somebody say, man, these are people that know how to lift you up. They just got hit a little hard with you. was gonna come. They knew he was gonna come. Talk to me, somebody. They knew he was coming, but they felt like he was gonna come riding on a, a white stallion. Come on, somebody. You don't try out there how they walk down the street sideways. Come on, somebody here looking that way, but trying down the road. They thought he was gonna come riding on a, a Clydesdale, a black Panamino, a white stallion. But he came into Jerusalem. Get on your knees, son. Get on your knees. On the soul of an ass. He came riding. Low, meek, and humble. Somebody say, man, what happened in the world? That's the way God was going to bring it. And that's the way he came. So when he came in a way, amen, that the priests and the Levites could not accept him. So the God had they accepted him. Amen, he could have went on with this thing. The Bible said the, the stone that the pillar rejected the same became the head of the coda. Somebody say, man, where the head of the coda? He lived on the inside of me. Somebody say, man, I said the head of the coda. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Get your faith out of him. That's what they said. My doctor, my doctor, my friend. They can't keep themselves alive. Because you need to be careful what you're saying. They got to be careful. Come on, somebody. They ain't me talking today. It's the Holy Ghost talking. Come on, somebody. They rejected Jesus back that then, and they rejected him right now. But if you'll hear me, if you're listening to me, if you, you're going to realize what's in you, you're going to realize that you got a power living on this side of you. You're going to realize, you realize that your word, you carry power. It's going to fix what needs to be fixed. The unfixable. It tells you, so ain't nothing we can do to that. And we can't even get to that. I mean, it's so bad now that we can't get to it. Had you came years earlier, maybe we could have did something. Well, I want you to know, it ain't never out of sight of God. I mean, it ain't, no, ain't nothing unfixable. I mean, turn about God. God have been known to go to the graveyard and pull a man out that was aiming at the have been been dead for days. Somebody said in four days, Lacker was dead. Rick March a shut in. Amen. He was speaking. Talk to me, somebody. And when he got to the graveyard, hallelujah, Mom. Somebody said he said, roll back the stone. And Martha said he's speaking by now. She said, I don't care if he's speaking. I don't care if he's writing. I don't care whatever going. When you roll back that stone. And when I call him by name, come on, Rick Mars got to let go. Somebody say, man, all that the beetles and the worms and the cats and the, and then the flies and the dead 
and got the wrong. When he come before me, he will be right. And turn to God, and what about a fruit sucker? Allow to walk out the graveyard, bound with gray clothing, and Jesus said, loose him, and let him go with that nap that was about his head. And all of a sudden, can't you just see Lad was walking out praising God? What I'm trying to tell you, amen, God trying to let us know, I don't care how sick you get, I don't care how weak you get, amen, God is still God. Somebody say, man, hallelujah. That in all he did, and when he went to hell, from the God, when he got down to hell, got down to hell, preached a three-day revival. In hell, he preached to the patriarchs of old. He told them that they need to be born again. And church of God, I want you to know that the Moses, Moses gave you, it wasn't enough. He baptized them in hell with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Rose up on the third day when David and when Joel, when Hosea, all of those guys rose up with him. But the Bible said after his resurrection, they were seen walking the streets prophesying. These guys had been dead for years, for thousands of years. Amen. God just don't raise up people that have been dead for two days or three days or four days. God went back some three, four thousand years and raised them back out. Don't you tell me. Ain't nothing too hard for God. I stopped by the tell you. And we, 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 we let God's word fall to the ground. We, we, we read God's word, but we won't stand on God's word. Everything gone down but the word of God. Amen. Heaven gonna pass away. The earth gonna pass away. But the word of God is gonna stand. It's gonna stand. It's gonna keep standing. It's gonna stand forever. I reprogram you. I reprogram you. I reprogram you. I reprogram you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. If it's the Lord will, may God will. The Lord will be back. It's not my will that you perish. My will is for you to live. My will is for you to be healed. My will is for you to be delivered. The lashes that I took on my back, it was for your healing. Talk to me, somebody. Huh? I was wounded. Huh? I was wounded. I was wounded. The Bible said, I mean, it's as if it's very bad, he was wounded. For our transgressions. Nothing he did. He was bruised for our iniquity. Nothing he did. The chest tied with our peace. Well, the throne even with those stripes. We heal. Come on, somebody. With those stripes, we heal. With those stripes, we heal. Peter, pick it up to my strike. We were here. Come on, somebody. What's going to take? What it's going to take to make us believe? What it's going to take to make us believe? Why is it so hard for us to believe? He said in Mark 9, 23, he said, my God, hallelujah, the thousands can believe all things are possible. To them, he didn't say something, but he said all things are possible. To them that believe, the thousands can believe. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I believe. Yes. I believe. Several different kinds of faith. I said it's several yes. different ty- uh, kinds of faith. Yes, yes. There's a faith that you can have in somebody. There's a faith, talk to me, somebody, huh? That you can have in Jesus. That's a type of faith. And it'll work for you. Because you, you got faith in Jesus. That's good. But still, that's not good enough. They have faith in Jesus. And Jesus lives in you. Talk to me somebody. I am. I believe that he did it. I gave you the power to do it. The power is not in your time. Why are you telling me, asking me to do it? I gave it. You get to do it. Yeah. I gave you the power. We didn't read it all the way while ago. But amen. And that same Matthew said in 16, chapter 19 to 8, 19 and 20 verse. He said, Amen. Hallelujah. He said, Whatever you bind here on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. He said, Whatever you bind here on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you bind here on earth, he said, It shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loosen here on earth, it shall be loosened in heaven. He said, I gave you the power. You got the first good, then it's going to be automatically done in heaven. Come on, somebody. When you, when you bind it up, I'll seal it with my word. 
with my with my seal. Somebody say, but I give you the power that you'll do it yourself. You ain't no need to do it. The great is he that's in you, that he that's in the world. I gave you power over all the power. You ain't listen to me. Come on, somebody. I gave you power. You're not using the power that I gave you. Come on, somebody. You're using the word that the devil gave you. And but my God did not give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. You got to use that power. You got to use that soundness. Oh, God, I feel hard. I ain't talking to just one person in here. I'm talking to all of you. It's my highest. I'm in the seat. It's a five level. It's a good minute to come in today. But I see trouble. Hallelujah. I see trouble because when I see you, you're going to send you. Come on, somebody. You listen to me. But man, the power of God hit him, hit him so hard, so strong. It wasn't that he wasn't delivered, he just cut. His eyes just went so powerful. He said, what do you see? He said, I see trees at me. I see trees. He was prophesying. He was prophesying. He was shouting. He was saying, I see me as trees. How many know God made us trees of righteousness? Somebody say, man. And God laid his hand on him again. He said, now, I see me as me and trees as trees. But God gave him a vision of what was going to take place. We are trees of righteousness. We are the tabernacle of God. We are the building of God. We are the sanctuary of God. Somebody say, man. We are the throne of God. Come on, somebody. We're God's planning place. Come on, somebody. He lives in us. He made us a gold on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Thank you. Simon Bojana. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Who? Hallelujah. Bless you. Say ye that I am. Simon, Hallelujah. Peter, answered and said, Thou of the Christ, the Son of the living God. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Bless of thou, Simon Bojon, yes, for flesh and blood. Flesh and blood, you didn't get this from your mama. You didn't get this from your daddy. Your grandmama this didn't come from her. Flesh and blood cannot did not reveal this unto you. But I want you to know something. My father, which is your father, revealed this unto you. He said, flesh and blood. Come on, somebody. That's what he said. Amen. Flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you. Your mama didn't get this to you. Your daddy didn't get this to you. Your grandma, your uncle, your aunties. Then nobody in the flesh can know you. Now this didn't come from no preacher. This didn't come from nobody. This came straight from God. But nobody knew who I am but God. Talk to me, somebody. You listen to me. He said, Peter, hallelujah, flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you. He said, but my father. That's what he said so second. My father, which is in heaven, I say also unto thee. Uh, since you done, since you done passed this test, since Amen now, Amen, Hallelujah, glory be to God. Your mama and your daddy didn't teach you this, Amen. Now, son, to thee, thou Peter, thou Peter. Upon this rock, upon me, Peter. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to build up what I need to build upon the word. I'm going to build upon this rock. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not, shall not, shall not, shall not. Shall not prevail. Turn to God, you ain't got to go down. For the Bible says you shall not prevail. I tell you, if you realize who you is and who you is, amen, you're going to understand that the gates of hell will not prevail against you. I know it feel bad right now, and I know you're going through so bad right now, but I declare to you today, amen, you coming out of this day. Matter of fact, you're already out. You just feeling something. Amen, it ain't even real. Come on, somebody. That's a delusion. It ain't even real. The devil just made it seem like it was something. I come to tell you today, hallelujah, it ain't real. It ain't real. Amen, hallelujah. Say, feel it. It's still not real. Amen, what's real is God. Ah. And upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Verse nineteen. Come on. And I will give unto thee. Yeah, there you come. I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever. Oh man. Jesus. Jesus. I got the keys. I got the keys. You have the keys. Sometimes you have stuff you don't know how to use it. 
You better just not you can't. God, I, I'm opening the door. God didn't put no keys in your hands. He said, you can't open the door with no keys, no not your keys. He said, I give you the keys to the kingdom. See, the keys in my people. Which are called by my name. Who humble himself and pray and seek my face. Turn from thy wicked ways. Then shall I hear from heaven. Now forgive your sins and heal your land. Amen. When you get proud from your buckle, then you can get up. Be not made whole. Jesus didn't go about praying for nobody. He told the man at the pool of a tussle. He said, take up thy bed and walk. He had just got done praying. Then he went out prophesying. When I speak in the word, told the blind man to receive his sight. Spent on the ground for another blind man and anointed his eyes with clay. And told him to go wash in the pool. And he went and washed, came sin. How will God do it? That's the way it's going to be done. Turn to God. Amen. You're going to speak some things now, brothers and sisters. It's going to come to pass, but it's going to look like it ain't going to happen. You're going to tell them to do strange and stupid stuff. And I promise you, if they're going to do it, it's going to happen. Come on, somebody. Oh, you listen to what I'm saying? Well, oh, I ran around the car seven times in the little Talladega County. And everybody in the city was looking at me. Run around the car. Then God said, man, I want you to go up on the car. Start from the front of a hood. Walk across the top of the car. And I want you to get to the back of the car. And I want you to praise me. And I began to praise the Lord. Hey, they thought I jumped off the car. They thought I was going to jump through the window. And I began to dance out there. Got in the car. They said, how do you want to lost his mind? Oh, good God Almighty. I had lost my mind. For me to do something like that, I had to lost me. Come on, somebody. That was the, the, the beginning of my miracle. That was the beginning of God using me because I obey God. I took the foolish thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Turned my whole life around that day. Came my home. Made it to my mama house. I'm sure I got the call. Boy, your mother lost his mind. She wanted to tell me so bad, but she had some cotton on the porch. Man, we're sitting there with his stomach so big. Sitting there. Because somebody had told him, you know, about me. I guess she thought I was one of the money kind of folks. Because he had a pocket full of money when he got there. You know, when he got there, mama, she wanted to tell me what was going on, but she couldn't really get to me too what all they done said about me. Bless God. The old man was sitting there and I got to pre preaching to him. I got to speaking that word over his life and when he stood up, his pants come off him and fell around his ankle. All of this big old pus that was in his stomach just went down like somebody cut his stomach open and his britches hit the ground, hit the floor. And all of a sudden, man, he went down and tried to reach and get his britches because he had some long, old, long jaws on. He had them long. You know how to walk for wear them things way down here? He had the drop. He still had clothes on, but he felt like he was naked. And when he had them long, long, you know, but he was, he was just standing there trying to reach down. He said, oh, about that, shot? I'm going to praise God. Come on, somebody. His stomach went down right before me. He had his eyes. Right before my mama's eyes. And even now, she understands. She said that when she finally told me what they did, I said, well, mom, I was only obeying God. God told me to stop in front of standing. The uh, furniture store told me to get out, run around the car seven times. I did that. He told me to get up on the hood. I did that. He told me to walk across the top. I did that. He told me to get on the back of him and praise him and then get on back in my car and pull off. I said, look what happened here today. She said, my God, boy, that man was healed, delivered, and set free. And the only thing messed it up, the only thing that I didn't like about that, he rested in his pocket and he gave me, his wife gave me about $500. He Turn around and give me about four. Hey Amen. You know they were paying. You know who they thought they were paying. I told them your money perish with you. If you're giving this to God for me to go do ministry, I'll take it. But if you're giving this to me, hey Amen, that cost you think by my own power I did this? I said, the hell with you. Come on, somebody. I'm a preacher being called by God. I said, I've been called by God. Somebody say, man. Somebody said to me yesterday, she said, hey Amen, you kind of easy. But when you when somebody do something, I'll say, it's when you say, you come on to the front line. Oh, yes, I will. I, I'm about Ain't nothing short about me. I speak when it's time to speak up. Talk to me, somebody. When it's time for me to speak, I'll speak. Come on, somebody. And you mess with my business. I'm getting a little mess with my business. I ain't gonna talk about that. I ain't gonna talk about that. You know that old, that old, what they call it, Big Bird. I ain't gonna talk about it. I'm gonna leave that long. I'm gonna leave that long. 
Eh, mas ini mau nangis lu Udah ini mau beri maja semua Kamu sudah balik Suam gini ya sih Gak harus happen nih Gak harus happen nih Semacam Kita up the way take about that Tau ngomong macam mana nih Gue aja Eh, but I talk about that one day later on But not today I just thought about it Amen, cause when you go to mess with you You know what I'm talking about So the Lord when he went to mess with your business Amen, you did your Something happened to you Another side of you showed up And we got to get rid of that side Amen, I still got a little bit of that left in me Amen, that's when I tell the leader Just don't say nothing I tell Cheryl, don't say nothing I tell the people, don't you say nothing Just go and take it Don't say nothing If you don't say nothing Then I'll keep me in my place Come on, somebody I've got to get to where I'm going But one of these days I'm going to be delivered One of these days, amen When people say and do things It ain't going to bother me Come on, somebody Because I've been got to the place And when you get to the place In a devil hell Go going to be in a mess with you Come on, somebody When you get to the place Trina, when you're there Amen, Trina, of God Your surrounding is nothing but God Amen, the place that I'm talking about Amen, your pains and your aches And your sickness, your disease Your upset just can't come When you get to the place When you get to the place It's over with you out You don't go past all of that Sickness can't come in my body you got what about that? 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 I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be funny. You got to work out there. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Something about that spirit that's on this side of me. Brother Bruce, it just I'm telling you. Ain't a demon in here could come now. I'm getting back to my message. True to God, I want you to know something. Hallelujah. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He meant what he said. He said what he meant. At that meaning, hallelujah, when you get in this place, amen, hallelujah, where he want us at, amen, true to God, the gates of hell should not prevail against nothing you do. Come on, somebody. I want you to understand people are waiting on Jesus. They're waiting on Jesus. How is Jesus going to come to them? True to God, the Bible said the harvest was plentiful. The labors was few. What we're doing, we sit down, land back watching TV, land back having our computer, and we land back having a good time, and looking at all this crazy stuff now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. You'll get saved. Ah. You know, what I've been doing in here. You'll get saved because some scripture that amen that you're gonna stand in your face. That's all you're gonna find. You ain't gonna find nothing but two dots. And you won't find two dots on this one. Hey, but I only take two dots on this one. I done got to be the best in that. Can't nobody catch up with me. Can't nobody even get close to me. Jonathan tried. Nobody a bunch of tried. I'm so far ahead. I'm just six feet away for the next one to come on. Come on, somebody. I am the head and not the tail, the liver and not the body. Come on, somebody. I live above and above only. But you won't find nothing on this but true to God Bible stuff. Hey, but you won't find any scriptures while I ran, while my God gave me reference in my head. And I just put them in, the, in, in order here. Talk to so you can find nothing but a line of nothing for what God been talking to me about. You'll find it on there, but you won't find me looking at nothing else. You ain't, I don't, you ain't gonna find nothing crazy on my phones or nothing crazy on my iPad. Talk to me, somebody. Are you listening to me because I refuse to use that any other kind of way but for God? Somebody say, man. Are you listening to me, Trigger God? We got to use what God gave us for God. Hey, well, we got to use our cars for God. We got to use our houses for God. We got to use our food for God. We got to make sure. And we put it for God. Give me the torch now. Give me the torch now. This got a trail. This got a trail. When they come back to the spirit, then they come back. Don't let stupid be on. Come on now. On your head. Come on now. Say so. Say it. Don't let stupid. Say it. This thing right here. Mm -hmm. Get you one of the greatest messages. Yeah. Of all time. 
It ain't going nowhere. I deleted it. You can't delete it at the stop off booth. The stop off booth is out there somewhere. When you sing it, it stops off before it gets to where you're singing it to. Even though it didn't get that quick, it's got a stop off booth. Hallelujah. You got it so fast. Oh, that came fast, but it stopped off somewhere else. <clears throat> Just in case you have a water shot up, water damage to your phone, and you get it run over by a car and you lose it. All you got to do is go back and hit a button and tell whoever it is, iCloud or whoever it is, send me everything I got. <laughs> you get it right back. But they still ain't gone. Amen. They still ain't gone. Everything you need right here in this Bible. True to God. I don't care what scripture you read. It's more to what you're reading. I don't care what scripture you read. It's more than what you're reading. Now, amen. You read it. But then it's to be opened up. And if you don't have in you to open up this. You read it, and you got your own understanding from what you read. But if you read it, when you write it in your book, in your notes, it's going to be completely different than what you read. Talk to me, somebody, because God has given you the revelation to what you read. Now, revelation is not for God. Revelation is for us. God knows all things anyway. Come on, somebody. So they give it to us by revelation. When we seek the Lord then, and when we get it by revelation. When revelation comes, you know, it's for us. Not for God. There's nothing hid from God. He knows the depths of his word. Come on, somebody. He knows what you're supposed to get out of it. That's if you give your heart to the Lord. Come on. The world and the church world is in a mess. Amen. Because now when they hear the truth, Hallelujah. the truth sounds so crazy until they don't even want it. Amen. And because y'all got the truth and you afraid to get out there and tell them the truth because it don't sound crazy. I've been pulled on the copy so many times. In Detroit, I got pulled on the copy. In Columbus, Ohio, I got pulled on the copy. Or listen to me in Cleveland, Ohio, I like got pulled on the cop. Or listen to me, huh? Amen. And in and, 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 uh, and, uh, and, uh, Orlando, Florida, I got pulled on the cop. Tampa, Florida, they put me on the cop. Every while, we go, they put me on the cop. But now, since Brother Castro, my daughter, and all the rest of these guys preaching, now the, the, the eyes have come up, now everybody grab a hold to it. Talk to me, I preached it back in the 80s, man. Law officers. Amen. Call me crazy, didn't it? Yes. Everybody beat me down. They put them on the carpet. They would pull out the scriptures on them. They put, hey, this is what the word of God said right here. I take the same scripture and when I get through with it, run that shit right there with me. Stop right there in front of all of them. Amen. Stop calling. Amen. Stop right with them, run my little chest down and kind of my elbow, my, my shoulders kind of spread it back. As they get as they brought the scriptures, I gave them the revelation to them. Now, a lot of them had to come back and say, man, we didn't understand at that time. Come on, somebody. When people hear about water baptism is often they, 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 they got a problem they even to this day. But and then a lot of people realize when you make it plain as I make it. Come on, for John baptized with water. But you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Not many days yet. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. 19th chapter of the book of Acts where Paul went uh, by a certain place. In the Bible, so when he got there, he asked them after they got done preaching, he said, uh, How do you receive the Holy Ghost since you believe? 19th chapter of the book of Acts. They said, We don't even, these are the ministry. These are the ones that were preaching the word to these people. They said, We don't even know what to be a Holy Ghost. He said, Well, by what baptism was you baptized with? See, the Holy Ghost. See Paul knew what the new baptism was, the Holy Ghost baptism. He said, But by what baptism was you baptized with? That's we baptized on the John baptism. He said, Oh, I see why. I see why you're still preaching that John only baptized unto repentance. John, John baptized couldn't save nobody. But the Bible said in Hebrew, Hebrew 6, Hebrew, what is it, 6? Even baptism doing not save us. 1 Peter 3 and 21. 
First Peter 3 and 21 said even baptism do it not save us. Huh? Not to put away the fifth of the flesh. You know, when you water it, what it does, it, it cleans your flesh. You can get baptized with it or you can bathe it. Amen. Talk to somebody. Huh? Even baptism do it not save us. Not to put away the fifth of the flesh, you know. You know. And then they had a problem with the baptism. When I got when I got saved, can I just talk to you for a few They had a baptism, but they had a problem with the baptism. Come on, they were fighting with each other. Holy folk were fighting with holy folk, brother. They said, What are you baptized by? They said, Oh, we baptized in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, we don't baptize that way. What about what why how you baptize? We baptize in the name of Jesus. And uh uh, so they fight with it. They were fighting with each other. And then, who is the father? Who is the son? Who is the Holy Ghost? So they both were baptized in, by water in Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. We baptized in the name of Jesus. We baptized for our son, the Holy Ghost. See, they didn't have a problem with that. But, and they both were baptized with water. So that was the problem there. See, Jesus was baptized by John in water, but Jesus was upon the Mosaic law, so that's why he was baptized. I'm not a law breaker, I'm a law fulfiller. Amen. So when Jesus went down in the water, he came back up and the Bible said the Spirit came down upon him. Jesus could not break the law, so by the law, according to the law, that was the way they had to be baptized. But John said in the third chapter of Matthew, he said, uh, 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 I need to be baptized before he baptized Jesus. He said, I need to be baptized with you, son. Why come it down to me? Jesus said, suffer this to be so now. That we may fulfill all righteousness of the law. John suffered to be so took one in the water. And baptized Jesus. So that's why Jesus was baptized. But when the Holy Ghost came, when the real baptism came, it was not downstairs, it was upstairs. Come on, somebody, and I want you to know Noah's floor wasn't nowhere around to get up the way they were. Come on, somebody. God hadn't rained enough water to get up the way they were up there up in the upper room. So even the Bible says, Sunday there came a sound from heaven as a rushing by the wind, and it came down to the upper room where they were at and filled the whole house. They were baptized with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Matter of fact, Jesus told them in Matthew, the 26th chapter, I'm not drinking the fruit of this vine till I drink it new until my father's kingdom. And turn to God on the day of Pentecost, he drunk it with him in his father's kingdom. He brought, it, brought the kingdom all the way down from heaven and turned to God. They were staggering like drunk men. Somebody said, These men be drunk. Peter said, No, they are not drunk. This is being the third hour of the day. But this is what Joel's prophesied about. In the last day, said God, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all the sons and daughters. Go prophesy. What I'm saying to you, children of God. All that other stuff is obsolete. Amen. But we've got a problem with it to this day. Yes. But one of these days. Yes, Lord. They're going to see it. And I pray God they see it before it's too late. Because Jesus is going to marry who? I'm so scared to say it. Who Jesus going to marry? He's going to marry the church. He's going to marry the church. Somebody said, brother, you're going to marry the church, you're going to marry us. No. He's going to marry the church. The church is not just him. The church is whoever got the Holy Ghost. He's going to marry the church. He's going to marry those that have been baptized with the Holy Ghost. And if you rejected the Holy Ghost, and you were a part of a church or a denomination, come on somebody. Then you're off. Because he's going to marry the church. The church would have to have been filled with the Holy Ghost. They would have, they would have to have been baptized with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is Jesus. The Holy Ghost is God. Talk to me somebody. Huh? Upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Turn to God to say that the devil won't be able to prevail against you because why? Amen. The rock that he said will build a church will live in you. Amen. The rock lives in you. You ain't got to stand on it. It's in you already. You don't have to stand on it. I'm going to build it. He said, upon this rock I'm going to build my church. He said, you have to stand on it. But not the church you build from the ground. But the spiritual church is built from the head down. Oh my God. Jesus. This, this church that he built is coming. It's, it's going to be here. From here up. It's going to control from here down. I sound crazy, don't it? I said it's going to be from here up. It's going to control from here down. Why your hands move? 
because of up here. Yes, that's right. Find your eye. Look around your head because of up here. Lose right. that, you'll be just like. Hallelujah. Somebody, you want to move? They, they want to move. They got to move. Why? Because ain't nothing working up here. So God is going to live from here up and control from here down. When you think you your eyebrows, you can find God. And God takes over the, the computer, the brain. Take over the, the brain and then control from here down. Come on. Meaning when you really get it, and the enemy try to get you in some situation to make you look somewhat, you ain't got to be looking. You come out, you might not come out right at the beginning, but when we hit you just right, and you think about it, you know, you're going to choose the line. You're going to choose the line. No, I ain't going that way. Well. Why? Because he controls it. Yeah. 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 And he controls it down here. But if you're not praying and fasting and seeking the Lord, then guess what? Paul said, I got a wrong on the inside. Yes. That when I choose to do good, Amen. evil was present. Amen. The thing that I would not do, Paul said, I found myself in. Yes. I found that there was a wrong going on inside of me. But you're the God. Amen. God is not going to uh, 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 share this with nobody. Right. Any longer. Sometimes we do good, and sometimes we find ourselves don't do so good. So, Amen. When I choose to do good, you find out Satan is that too. Well, guess what? God could take completely over this. Somebody's going to look in my heart. That's a rough heart. And I can feel you any day. That thing can put me in there. You can't kill God. Talk to me. You don't know who the heart you're going to get. Somebody say, Amen. You don't know who. Who's blood pumping and getting in your chest? Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Just because you got a drunk blood pumping, that don't mean you're going to be a drunk. Amen. Just because you got a, 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 a person that was a murderer, that don't mean that you're going to be a murderer. Amen. You just got his blood pump. The blood pump is a filthy. You, you're going to find out. You just, you, you're not. You're going to find out that the blood. This is nobody living in him. Come on. You thought you fell in love with you didn't fall in love that. You just flooded like all crazy. Because you're messed up up here. Yes. <laughs> oh, you get there. Oh, you get cut up. You're flood. But you didn't fall in love with him. You fell in love with that. Talk to me, somebody. You won't believe it. Act what I make you walk speech and not good work. Fifteen miles. <laughs> Fall in love with him. You get out there walking the cold. Come on. You go walk in the cold. You go around people through him. You know you ain't no one of people, but you really make sure you pop it all right. Because we get what this is what happened. It got messed up. And it was me. You walk and he didn't mind walking. Because he had something to offer. All right. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, when, you, when, you, when you fall in love for me, you don't drama. <laughs> Draw your God. With a bring you to God, get somewhere. Bring you to God, God already got what you need waiting on you, but it'll bring you to God. It'll bring you to God. When you get that thing came up there, it ain't just him. It'll go to flood and coming up on you, but it's up here. <laughs> Standing out there waiting for me to pray for him, I look like I didn't see him. I'm not going to pray to I don't like that. I'm a preacher of a stone. He left. About 10 that day, he left, came back at 2 o'clock. I was still preaching. He came back about, about 2 o'clock. I was still preaching. He said, Yeah, I can see them tears coming out of his back. They won't be anymore. He was crying. I didn't care. I'm not preaching. You missed out, son. So you got to get it. And all of a sudden, when I got done preaching, I laid hands on his big old head. And boy, good God Almighty. He was hurt because he, he, <laughs> he was hurt, bro. Oh, God, I don't know what I would do. You go get your own dress. You thought that was going to get there, but it wasn't way. God had something else. Yeah. I don't know how I am. I don't know how I am. He was hurt, he was hurt, but I tell you what, man. When Brother Carl got saved that day, Brother Carl went down 180 pounds. 
I saw Brother Carl that next weekend. He came back that next Sunday. I didn't know who he was because he weighed 100 pounds. I lost 40 pounds. That boy lost 40 pounds. That boy, you tell him, praise the Lord. He was happy because the Lord was saving him. But you brought it and saved him to somebody else. God saved him because he knew he was he 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 with him somewhere else. And he was right there. She was right there. I brought my friend, got saved, boy, and messed around that boy. The Lord led her down to, 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 to a little place down there on 21 Highway, met the, her daddy. Next thing you know, we was up on the car for the preaching. <laughs> but Clark beat the drum. <laughs> no, I could go back to I could go back to them, bro. Clark, you beat the drum. The daddy was singing. Boy, they wouldn't let me preach. Your daddy get the same, and brother, daddy get the same. I'd be both of them. I'd be the same here all night tonight, man. Y'all know that we had this thing. We had 150 some people out there. Boy, boy. <laughs> then I got a call. The man of God will come to share me down. I got that call. He coming. I said, well, let him come. And when he got there that night, I will never forget it. Boy, we had that place was packed up. Boy. We had 150 uh, funeral home chairs. Y'all know that? Had 150 funeral home chairs. We had to go get some more chairs. Because boy, we had it all out to the road out there. But when he pulled up in there, put the green Ford truck, I knew he was there. Because I only got the one. He's coming. When he got there, and I said, well, my pastor's here. I'm going to turn on the head tonight. When he got there, he saw what God was doing. My God. Oh. He saw what God was doing. He got that mic from that night. He preached. And then God put it right back together. Yeah. Yeah. You talk about preaching, you know, all the way over there, preaching the gospel. I mean, I had to break away then because they had to go with him. Bro. I had to go with him. We were saying, God, amen, we had to fix things. Yes. And when God attacked it, the God, in other words, I'm talking about what God lived like. God don't live up in your chest. Amen. God lived in your head. Amen. Satan didn't live in your chest. He lived in your head. You know, he didn't want to make you do them stupid things. Right. You crazy thing you did. Hmm? Yes, so you yield your numbers to obey? Yes, sir. Well, how your numbers do something without the brain telling them to do it. Your hand ain't gonna move except your brain telling it to move. Yeah. And when you can stick a pin through your finger before your finger know it's stuck, Amen. before you feel it in your finger, Amen. it's gonna go to the brain. Yeah. Just, just a fish, it's already there. You think you just felt it hit, but it hit here first. Hallelujah. See, time you got stuck. Hallelujah. It went yes. to the brain that you just, and then you feel the pain in your finger. It's, 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 it's the head, man. So what I'm telling you, man, God lives in your head. Sit a minute. That's why you did all that crazy stuff. That's why you sat down and, you know, I'm going to leave all that long because it was up here. Now then, amen, guess what? You done changed partners. Amen. Are you listening to me? Now you, 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 you're not being controlled by the old man. You're being controlled by the new man. Amen. The old man would, you know, make you curse all the time. <laughs> I had a friend that's all he ever did was curse. And boy, my friend, I got saved, and he, not all, he wouldn't talk to no women, but he was a cursor. And boy, when he see a woman, he said, ow, ow, and look another way. <laughs> but he cursed all the time. But when God saved him, Hallelujah. I got him baptized with the Holy Ghost. Then guess what? His eyes didn't look that way now. Are you listening to me? Amen. He didn't say the same that that Jesus said. He quit cursing. God changed his whole life. Oh, I'm going to close the church. Hallelujah. Get this right. Get this right. Then everything else will get right. Get this right. Get this right. What's up, man? People have died because they didn't have this right. They've been told that they had a certain thing. And, and, and guess what? Because this was not right. They worried themselves to death. And they had a heart attack. They worried themselves until they had a stroke. They worried themselves until turn about they found themselves in a mess. Talk to me something. Because of worry. If they get this right, okay, what people do are said to it won't bother you. Now you're in control of Amen. this. Come on, listen, when you hear your numbers to obey, then you're the servant of God. So when God is controlling this, all this will be right. Talk to me, son. You're in control. You're in control. Take control. Get this right. Amen. Meaning that you don't have no animosity. That's no envy. That's no strife. That's no jealousy. That's no malice. Yes. None of those evil yeah. things is in your head. You don't care what nobody do, what nobody say. I mean, your head, your, your mind is pure. And those mind is stayed upon the law. Then they have what? Perfect. 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 Perfect.
Thank you, Jesus. Love the Lord. Y'all forgive me for my sins. But I know this man called Jesus. I heard a lady singing last night and she sung out of the depths of her heart. Woman God called me and said, let me let you hear this. And that lady sung two beautiful songs. And she sung those songs out of the depths of her heart. Hallelujah. And she began to talk about how her mama raised her up and, and what she instilled in them. Naturally, mm -hmm. we don't really have nobody now. She looked like she was all by herself. But guess what she got? She got her sons. She got Jesus. Yes, right. She got her sons and she got Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, I'm trying to get us to now. Mm -hmm. To that. I don't care what kind of woman you got on your age. Talk to me somehow. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that God is a keeper. Hallelujah. I want you to know it ain't got nothing to do with uh I'm 75 years old. Amen. Amen. I'm 80 years old. It ain't got nothing to do with that no more. Amen. Amen. We have people uh uh you know the word we inherited that stuff from our forefathers. Come on. But they got to a certain age, their step got short. They got to say that everything has begun to change concerning them because of what somebody else they saw what happened to somebody else. I'm not looking at nobody else. Talk to me, somebody. I'm looking at Jesus. I'm looking, I'm looking at Jesus. I'm looking at Jesus. See, Jesus Christ is saying today and yesterday and forever, he changed not. And Jesus is a keeper and a preserver of the soul and spirit. Present yourself unto Jesus Christ and you don't have anything to worry about. Me, I don't care how bad it is right now, how bad you feel. That don't mean you got to, you got to stay that way. That means you put Jesus first and then before you in your life, then everything else will get right. You wait on man to do it. Man don't fix nothing to last. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But when we're off, they make it, they got to break down. Right. Got all of them up and raise them up and bring them and put another brain on because the brain on the back. Right. They don't last. Talk to me something. Amen. But amen. God loves it. That's a little slack to say, God, you tell me what. God, you hear me? Amen. amen. Everything going down to God. God is even kidding. Thank you. Thank you. If you give it to God, He's able to keep that that you present unto Him. You present yourself unto Him. Present your child unto Him. Come on. Things are going on pre right now. That Amy, it's all because of my man frustrating. Are you to me praying, standing in the gap for people? People, life is being spared. Yeah. Troubles all around with the working our money because somebody stood in the gap. Amen. You could be a gap standing. Amen. 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 I was another way. Yes, Lord. See, it didn't have to be somebody else's child in right now. Right. A bunch of people got shot away right now. Don't hear me. Amen. A lot of people got shot. Amen. Some died and some are still alive. Amen. That did not have to be whose children they were. That could have been your child. Amen. God is good, but proud keeping them. Yes. You're proud keeping them. Don't you see? Your, 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 your boys ain't gonna, gonna live like you want them to live right now, so sure. But you're proud to keep them. Amen. They ain't gonna do what you what you want them to do right now. But your pride can sustain them. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But Derek got today. Working. Working. The time Derek didn't let you and your mama go nowhere by y'all self. Never did. Never, never let y'all go nowhere by yourself. He made sure that he was right there. But your pride's going to keep him. Hallelujah. Your pride's going to keep him. Hallelujah. So you know what? Let's go again. Forget about praying for those that don't pray. Amen. Your prayers will keep them. I don't know Brother Stegger's mother that well, but I praise for her quite frequently. When the Lord brain her to me, I pray for her. I keep her before the Lord because that's the Lord. 
to give birth to him. Talk to me, son. You know something? We can never forget that. I pray for him. I don't know his brothers, but I pray for them. I know him. Talk to me, son. Sometimes things happen to people that we love and to happen to their loved ones. But when it happens to their loved ones, it hurts us too. If you love them, it'll, it'll do something to them. Amen. Talk to them Amen. Because you don't want to know about them. Amen. Amen. You don't know about them. Hallelujah. So I've learned that. Amen. And then just standing the gap for people. I pray that people that have been, that been abducted yes. to be free. Yes. Yes. Look at that TV now. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Right in David. Yes. Amen. Right in David. Yes. Did you hear about that? Yes. The child. Uh -huh. And not only that, but some more folk were dead yes. enough. Yes. Yes. The child got loose. Yes. They ain't got to never know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. They got to never know. Like I said. Yes. 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 To God be the glory. Yes. Yes. God be the glory. Spoke this years ago, we won't ever get it. They just start doing this. Amen. But people in, right, in Ohio, right around, not too far from, from tourists now, mm -hmm. they went, had them go locked up in yes. there yes. for a long, yes. long time. Jesus. But guess what? They find how many years? Yes. All yes. those years right there in the neighborhood. My God. God, freedom. Yes, oh, yes. Thank you. I'm going to be wrong with that. I'm going to be wrong with that. I'm going to be wrong with that. When I get hooked up into it, when I when God allow me to find out about it, mm -hmm. and I get guess what things are going to happen. And I'm going, is it any happening just by you are not seeing a whole lot what people being they don't understand why they got two someone's I don't know how to smoke them and drop my hand. Yes. 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 They don't so long. It's like a bird. The certain cage never been out. The bird come open and the bird just sit down. Until you reach inside the cage and get the bird that never flew before, you take him, push him out. And you'll find that he can fly. Yeah. Never knew he could fly. Well, he can fly around the cage, but he never knew he, he had access to all of that out there. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. And then just the fly away, you know, for yourself. And then, okay, how he fly, you always come back to the cage. Amen. Until you get rid of that cage, you will always come back because that was his home. Talk to me, somebody. All I'm saying is to you, you got to know what's in you. You got to know what's in you. You got to know who you are. You got to know who you are. And when you know who you are and who you are, the rest is history. The rest is history. The rest is history. You know, listen to me. You don't have to accept defeat. You don't have to accept, you don't have to, you don't have to accept defeat at all. Y'all listen to me? Yes, sir. You don't have to accept defeat at all. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to accept defeat at all. Not at all. Let's it out of your mouth. Don't be afraid to say it. Let it come out your mouth. For greater is he that sent you and he is in the world. Speak it. What if it don't happen? What if it do? Speak it. It's been there so long. What if it just leave? How did it come? When did you know it was there? Speak it. Tell it to go. Amen. Demand it to go. Amen. Claim that it's already gone. I thank you, Lord, for. Well, you know that it's still, but you say it's gone. Right. Guess what? It's going to leave. Yeah, yeah. Your words carry power. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting ready to call church, but I told you before, I wouldn't mind back at you. Good joke. And drop this faith in you. You can't get it that way. It comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. How can you hear without the preacher? Come on, somebody. Don't let them check on your ears. Don't let them make it. They make it sound good. Don't let them do that to you. Not this word, man. Get this word in your heart. Not your blood pump. Get it in your heart. What's the man thinking in his heart? Out of the heart proceed thoughts, evil thoughts, good thoughts. When you get it in your heart, when you get that word in you, can't nobody take that away from you. 
When you get it in you, I don't care if it might look bad. But you know God gonna bring you out of it. You know somebody? He did not get his word. His word didn't come from God. Fear did not come from God. He was the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Speaking, you can go as high as you want to go. You can go as far as you want to go. That's the limit you made it. Because with God, that's no limit. Come on, somebody. You can't put God on a limit. And God, that's no limit. That's no height. Talk to me, somebody. In us, the heights, and that's that. But in God, talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Where we at right now? You can just fly around it. You can just leave and go around and circle around it all four ways. You will find ain't nothing holding it up. That's what we, our minds cannot comprehend that the world that we're living in is just sitting out in the midst of nowhere. Our mind can't even comprehend that. We think, amen, uh, uh, we dig it to the ground and that's it. Triple ground on the other side of where you're digging. Ain't nothing. My Lord. Just as far as you go, if you could go, get your jet, then enough gas man can give you. You keep flying just that way. You keep flying just that way, you're gonna keep flying and you run out because you got enough gas. Amen. It's just fat. There's no end to it. Hallelujah. But God got us sitting out in the midst of nowhere. See, we don't let our mind come for him. Go to church. Come on. To be programmed by man, the devil's a lie. To be programmed by nobody. Come on, by God. Amen. God is mine. Yes, I rely on that. Amen. In him I live and move and have, have a meaning. I rely on that in the beginning was his word. Hallelujah. And I rely that in the end it's going to be his word. Hallelujah. I declare the end and at the beginning. I rely on all this. Talk to me, somebody. I realize that in he's my keeper and my preserver. When you can realize that I'm keeping you, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Come on, you're I'm saying this. I'm saying this. I'm saying this. I'm saying this. Are you listening to me? Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. You got to be in your program. Don't let him get you. The man that trying to get you, they got no place to put you. Hell only belongs to him. Come on, somebody. God just put him up for a time. Hell is going to be lifted up, and all of his angels, and all of those that decided to go that way, is going to be lifted up. Hell and the angels and whoever. To be cast into a lake of fire with burning refined brimstone. I told you with this. With burning refined brimstone. And the devil got God's people all over the world. They know how it feels to be burned with a cigarette or somebody struck a match in between your fingers. You won't be able to take it one second. You're going to scream and you're going to holler and you're going to be the baddest man in town. You can be the strongest man in town, a little match. Can make you hungry. A little fire. Put your hands on somebody got a, a got a a, 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 a a stove on it and take your hand and put it on top of that stove and it's red hot. You won't be able to take it not one second. But that's a fire. It's called the liquor fire. But our minds can't even comprehend. And the devil is so many people have died, amen, not knowing. But we wait on. Triple God, we want to open our eyes. That's the place nobody should want to go. All of this stuff that we're doing ain't going to be nothing compared to what we go. Talk to hell that's real. But hell ain't all that it's going to be. Hell is going to be lifted up and cast into the lake of fire. We're burning with fine windstorm, which is the sin of death. I'm not trying to match a die. But if you're a child now, you let yourself go. You're talking about 
talked about the second definition of power. The first definition of power and what God now is what? Yes. Power. Yes, thank you, Lord. People get here, people get it done. But the second definition of power. That's what he said. You hear him, you lift it up and catch it to the middle of fire. Amen. Like the second definition of power. People go scream and holler. Just think about fraternity. Don't look like God gonna punish, but it is. So the dog don't look like God gonna do what he is. Everything he said he's gonna do. If it has not been done, he gonna do it. I'm not trying to hurt you, church. Amen. I'm trying to help you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Quit letting people pull you Thank out. you, Lord. Get your Bible down and read like you never read before. Get your Bible down and, 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 and just study like you. Get on your knees and pray like you never prayed before. And ask God to, to teach you. To love like you love. God, I want to be just like you. I want to do what you did. I want to feel like I'm not doing it. Guess what? You look down at what I'm talking about. To lift him up. To, you know what I'm saying? For the rest of your life, not one second, not one hour, not two hours, not two days, not two years, not two months. 2,000 years, but forever. Yeah. 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 Be a lake of fire that's going to burn forever. See, the devil is not letting God, my people, mind come in for that. I feel the place called here, not the place where in the hill, church. Come on, somebody. The rich man was in the hill. Come on, somebody. And he was in tormented in hell, but not the torment that he's going to get later. But he cried out to Abraham because he could see him. He said, Father Abraham, can you send Lazarus, the one that begged him for food, just wanted some crumb to fill from his table? Can you send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in some water and come down here and drop it on my tongue while I'm tormented in this plane? Abraham said, that can't help him, son. But notice what he called him, my father. He's the father of the good. Yes, yes. He's the father of the bad. He's Haggai and he's Sarah's son. And he said, Father Abraham, he said, I can't send Lazarus. He said, well, if you can't do that, send Lazarus back to my father's house. I got seven brothers. I heard it in one of them. That worse off than when I was. Send him back to them. Unless they come to this place of torment. And you know what I'm saying? They have Moses. And they have the prophets. Let them hear them. And then he said, But Father, if one be risen from the dead, they'll hear him. And Father Abraham said, Listen, son. And they will hear Moses and the prophets. Neither would he hear the Lord who rose from the dead. He was letting us know that if they can't receive the gospel of Jesus Christ, they can't get it through the preaching of the gospel. They won't get it this one right here. Talk to me, somebody. But this man was in a place of torment. What I'm saying, I'm not trying to scare you, church, but I'm trying to let you know. Love. Don't hate nobody. Thank God. Thank you. Don't, 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 don't get the bitterness and hatred out your heart for your parents. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. I don't care what kind of life they live, what they did. You love them anyway. Amen. Love them, church. Amen. Love them. Thank God that you're here. Amen. Thank God that you're here. Thank God Thank you. that you're here. Thank God that you're here. Because you're here for this life. God can use you. Amen. 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 I love the Lord today. I don't mean to hurt you, but I got to tell you the truth. I first got the dirt in my heart. I gave you to your shotgun strength. I let you know that in the hallelujah, upon this night, upon the word of God, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. But you know, I don't care how you come, he won't win. He won't win. That's no winning for him, true God. But that's, 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 we are already won, man. Uh, Modest, we are already won. But the Bible says we're more than a conqueror. Jesus Christ already conquered this thing. And we're more than a conqueror through him that loved us. All we have to do 
give us to the Lord. All we got to do is submit this statement and everything that is controlled is going to fall in place. The phone going to get healed. The arm going to get healed. The elbow going to get healed. The under the, the, the shoulder going to get healed. All down your side going to get healed. Why? Because this is now in control. And who's controlling that? Jesus. The Christ. Come on, somebody. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let's 
Just pray your way to that straight place. Come on, God, while you pray no tongues, you praise your way there. Come on, Brother Elias. Praise your way there. Come on, Junior. Praise your way. Praise your way. Come on, come on. Come on, sister. Come on. Come on, sister. Come on. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on, brother. Come on. You praise your way to that same way. You praise your way to that same way. You praise your way to that same way. You can praise your way to that same way. Come on, sister.
this end because I'm not going to take long. Thank you, Lord. I just want you in your heart. Amen. Deal. In this end, what we need to get. Thank you, Lord. Let's make it work as quick as we can. Because the Lord loves the children, God. Thank you, Lord. So bless y'all. Thank you, Lord. Lift the offering fast as we can. I love the Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost.
Jesus name right now. Hallelujah. 